Hello YouTube, it is Water Change Monday, episode 5, meaning today will be all Red Sea Coral Pro Salt. We've made it, and so far the tank is loving the new salt. Now, one thing I will say though is I have had a breakout of Dino's since I've started using the new salt. It didn't show up when I put in the new lights. It only started when I started doing my water changes um, with, with Coral Pro. So I'm pretty sure that it's coming from the salt. My overfeeding definitely does not help the situation. And it's not terribly crazy right now, but I'm hoping that it doesn't get worse. Anyway, today's salt water change should be super, super quick because Coral Pro mixes in no time. And today I'm actually gonna use a different method of measuring it, so let's get to it. Okay, so as I mentioned, we are measuring the salt a little bit differently today. One of my followers on Twitter, Hot Sauce Sam, go follow him. Uh, he actually has been giving me a lot of tips about reefing, and he suggested that I try measuring my salt instead of going by volume, going by the cup. So I'm going to measure out five cups still and we'll see what the weight comes out to but we will be going by weight and according to him 730 grams exactly with five gallons of water comes out to a salinity of 1.026 or specific gravity to be you know to be more correct normally i use a little bit less than five gallons of rodi water it's about four and three quarters maybe so let's get to it. One half cup. Two half cups. Three half cups. Four half cups. Five half cups. Okay, so it's just shy of seven of 730 grams. Five cups comes out to 704 grams. So I'm gonna make that hole and bring that up to 730. Oh, too much. Okay, I'm not gonna stress out about that. 729.5, but know that we were aiming for 730. All right, so let's get this into the water. And in goes 730 grams of Coral Pro. So I will let this mix until it is clear, test the salinity, heat it, and then get it into the tank. So in the meantime. Let's go ahead and test the water parameters of the tank. First, I'm going to calibrate my refractometer. All right, 
refractometer is good to go. So salinity first. Specific gravity of the tank is 1.026 or 35 parts per thousand. Alkalinity. Alkalinity of the tank comes to eight. Let's check on the new salt water mix now. So we're pretty clear. Oh yeah, definitely clear. It's only been mixing for about 30 minutes, so let's go ahead and test the salinity. Specific gravity is at 1.030, salinity is at thir uh, 30, 30 parts per thousand, no, sorry, 40 parts per thousand. Uh, so that's really, really high. The reason it is that high, though, is because there's less than 5 gallons of RO water in there. That's just shy of 5 gallons. So, I'm gonna test the alkalinity now and then get it heated. Okay, so alkalinity of new salt water is coming at coming out at about 12.5 to 13. I'm probably only gonna put in about four gallons of this until I check the salinity of the tank to make sure that you know it's not too high before I put the rest of it in there. Time to drain the tank. I forgot to show you guys the tank before the water change. So let's do that now. Here's the water from the tank. That's, again, I'm, I'm very satisfied with the level of clarity for this water. It's not too yellow at all. I still wouldn't mind trying to run carbon though. But anyway, the tank actually looks really, really good right now. I, I threw some some nori in there just now. He thinks it's time to eat. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna feed them too. Um, yeah, let's feed them. Why not? But anyway, I'm trying to get them to eat the nori. They haven't touched it yet. Hopefully they do. I don't think the chromos is that that bright. <laughs> I 
actually haven't fed Reefroids all week neither. No, I'm not about to do all that. I'm just gonna feed them this. Okay, so back to the water change. New sock. Not overthinking, reacting with my instincts Go on moving on, open to the possibilities Drowning in discipline, feeling unforgivably However this will end, always did it all for me Selfish can't help it, I've dealt with this so long Fell to them, melted, caused them hell and so on Temptations of lust that I'm craving Certainly elevated when watching you escape it Always loved a good chase, what's the fun and easy? Heart racing, sweat dripping, barely breathing well, hardly even you should consider your options As you cry out and I tear apart your cottons Bare skin as your fist sets in the less than seconds Impressions of the setting embedded Will I regret this? Unlikely The pain and fear excites me As I slice these scalp two feet precisely It's hot in here If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it smart Suitable to start with someone you never met Gotta think with your head and not your heart It isn't hard Flip a coin, swipe a card, board the bus, pick a star For the leader role in your flick, pick to lose the soul The director to take the movements, maintain control Pan left and zoom, stand back, scan that view Rewind back, review, fast forward, resume Collecting data, 299 Amazon Prime Plastic sheets for the splatter You got the room ready, you let them in friendly So cue the doom deadly, lay a kiss of death Gently on a cheek, cold to the touch Folds where you strike, rolled up in your clutch Like you're trying to show so much love The both of you liberate Exhilarating to cause evisceration, it's an understatement. Alright, so I stopped the pump at about four gallons. There's about a gallon of salt water left. I'm gonna check the salinity before I add the rest of it. Everything looks really, 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 really good. I, I'm really satisfied with the tank's progress. I'm gonna turn the MP10 back on. You hear the auto top off system just kicked on. I'm actually gonna turn that off for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna let the tank settle in for about five to 10 minutes and then check the salinity and adjust the water level as needed. So let's test the tank now. Hmm. Very nicely done. The water is at 1.026 specific gravity. Alkalinity still says it's at eight. All right, so let's talk about it. My tank adjusted really, really, really well to Coral Pro. Everything looks really good. I think my tank always responds well right after the water changes as well. Um, again, I have no complaints and I have a lot of growth here. It actually really helps that the alkalinity is high in the Coral Pro. 
or that really everything is high because you know The tank really does look so good. So I recommend it. This has been Water Change Monday, episode five. Five parts of Coral Pro. Switching from Instant Ocean to Coral Pro. And again, I just really can't say it enough. The tank is looking amazing.